Ah, uh, the Basilisk, a D&D favorite. You can't go wrong with a good Basilisk encounter. They're fairly straightforward. They look at you and turn you into stone. It can be fun to describe the stone statues around a Basilisk layer and watch the players realize what they're walking into. I would advise, however, that when running a Basilisk encounter, after the first round where the petrifying gaze happens, ask the players at the top of their turn, are you averting your eyes? If they do, remember that they can't see the Basilisk, and if you can't see a creature, then it has advantage on you since it is an unseen attacker. The player also has disadvantage on attacking the creature. If the player gets confused about their options, point them to page 194 of the player's handbook. Basically, they can look at the Basilisk and attack and cast like normal, but roll the saving throw for a gaze, or they can avoid the saving throw and suffer the penalties. If you don't enforce these things, then the Basilisk encounter will be super easy. If the players are attacking a Basilisk layer, remember that there can be more than one. Basilisk, highly recommend using them.